Breaking news in South Georgia, where police confirmed they found a gun on the Valdosta State University campus earlier today. It is part of their investigation of a group of protesters who last week made news for walking on the American flag. Well, Fox News' Chris Shaw is live from what is now a very tense campus. Chris? Well, these developments are causing quite a bit of concern here right now, Russ. Within the last half hour or so, the university sent an email to students telling them, confirming that a gun had been found here on campus earlier this afternoon. In fact, in the story you're about to see, we're going to show you the backpack that police found that gun inside. Now, police are now saying that that gun belonged to a student here at VSU. They say they have unmistakable evidence of it. They say that student is now considered armed and dangerous. Well, just about four hours ago, he was standing right here where I am with police. It happened very suddenly, just before three. Police officers surrounded two Valdosta State students on campus. There cannot be threats made. There are no threats that have, have been made. No threats have been made. Threats cannot Y'all posing a threat right now. You have guns. We, I don't, we have no problems. No the student in orange is Eric Shepard. Tuesday, university police say they received 911 calls from other students claiming Shepard was making threats that he would shoot people. Matching your description to a T, and he's standing on the front steps. Was I standing on the front steps? Threat standing on the front no, steps of the library, threatening to shoot people. I was on the front steps. Oh, oh my God. God. Police did not arrest Shepard or anyone else after the confrontation. They did take this backpack into evidence, but said little about it. We're just trying to figure out what, what the police activity was. It, it was obvious that they stopped the... We, we found a book bag. We collected a book bag. That's it. Okay. So you found a book bag on campus? And that's it. Did, you have, did it have weapons? We're done here, okay? Campus has been a tense place since last week when Shepard walked on and burned an American flag. He declined to be interviewed but told a student in this cell phone video why he did it. The meaning for the stepping on the flag was that that flag represents white supremacy racism which is plaguing the entire earth. You see? So when we step on that flag, we're stepping on racism, white supremacy. We're stepping on those things. He cited a similar reason for ripping up a Bible during an on-campus demonstration Monday. So far, the university says his protests have been covered under the First Amendment right to free speech. But Fox 5 has confirmed police are looking at his social media and other video he appears in, trying to figure out if he's crossed the line and made threats. Some students tell me VSU has not done enough to keep them updated on what's happening. I'm scared that one of the protesters will come back with a gun that they had earlier, another one, and just open fire. I would expect a university that I pay all these fees for to protect me. But at this point, I feel like I just need to lock myself in my room till everything's handled. Okay, a lot of information here, so let's reset. Let's talk about what is new right now. Within the last half hour, we have learned that an arrest warrant is out for Eric Shepard. Police say that he is armed and dangerous. They say he is in hiding. They do not believe he is here on campus. That is the good news for students here. But again, it's worth pointing out that he was here with police just a few hours ago. Our cameras caught that entire confrontation. At the time, though, they did not have enough evidence linking him to the gun in the backpack or to making any actual threats, but in these few hours that has changed. And again, police right now looking for that VSU student. We are live in Valdosta. Chris Shaw, Fox 5 News. We'll check back with you as things change. Chris, thanks very much. The